shop here, working on my gooseneck trailer. Well, here's what I got. I got a super winch, LP8500. I got that from Summit. And I got Summit's universal mounting plate too. Oh, I got a receiver hitch that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put this all on a receiver so I can take it on and off as I want. And I got some ideas for my truck. Uh, Tractor Supply only had this adapter. I'm going to have to cut it off. Because all I need is a 2 inch receiver. And I got some heavy 2x2 two two tubing that we had in the shop. That's what I'll use to make the receiver. So I'm going to try to get to working on that before my race starts. Don't know how far I'll get. Might start working on the fenders today if I have time. But I'll show you as I go along here what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is cut the 2x2 two two tubing there at 11 inches. I'm going to use the bandsaw for that. Then I'll cut this receiver, this part off here. Okay, I got the 2x2 two two tubing cut to length, cleaned up. I got the adapter, cut off the 2 inch receiver hitch, ready to go. Next thing I got to do is trim this universal winch mount. Um, I don't need it this long. I'm just going to trim it up to fit the winch. And then I'm actually I'm going to use the scrap pieces, the end pieces, to start the mount that's going to hold the receiver on the trailer. Okay, the universal winch mounting plate is cut down. You see it's just cut down just enough for the winch. It's all I need. Okay, I gotta drill out the hole for the pin for my receiver part. And I'm just at the drill press and I'm using uh, the receiver, a uh, receiver hitch out of my truck and I'm using a drill just to get it lined up. Go get the pin and try it out. Works for me. Okay, fits like a glove. 
from there, so on to the next step. Next, I gotta weld my receiver tube on. This doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be close. Got it marked out where I'm going, where it's going to be welded, and grind the paint off. I just put a 45 in this receiver piece. Closer. 